Hello all, welcome to part 27 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate enabling the previewing of base 64 images in the generated extent report. So how to enable the preview of the base 64 images, okay? Whenever you take the screenshots with the help of base 64, okay? and attach those screenshots into the extent reports, by default, their preview won't be enabled, okay? I'll show you that first, okay? How the preview is not enabled first, I'm going to practically demonstrate. After that, what we have to do to enable the preview of this base 64 images in the generated extent report, I'm going to also show you in the same session itself in a practical way. So let's get started. So how to enable the previewing of the base 64 images in the generated extent report, I'm going to demonstrate that practically for you now. So here we have already have a project guys. Okay, I'm being using this project from the previous sessions of this uh, training series of the extent reports, right? So as part of this, we already created some stuff. And uh, if you see here, uh, we have this listeners class where uh, when any of the tests in this particular login, for example, login.java test file is uh, test class is there in that if any particular method fails, okay, for example, here I'm intentionally failing a test method that is ABC by adding this ABC in the, um, this is a login test guys, okay? So I have intentionally add ABC here because so this ABC option won't be there and because of the assertion failure that this particular test will fail and when the test fails, we have to take a screenshot, right? So when this particular test fails, automatically this particular method that is on test failure method in the my listeners class will be invoked and here it will call the test screenshot method in the base class, okay? This is already covered in the previous sessions, guys, okay? So here we are adding the screenshot uh, screen capture from base 64 string. Okay. This take screenshot, we have to show you the code of basic uh, take screenshot. It is returning the base 64 screenshot code. Okay. So here output type is base 64. Okay. For taking the screenshot, there are multiple ways. One of the ways is by taking the screenshot with output type as base 64. And uh, here we are returning this base 64 screenshot as a string back to the calling method that is take screenshot okay we are just passing the driver and we are getting the base 64 uh, screenshot here uh, code here and uh, that we are passing to the add screen capture from base 64 this method will attach this screenshot based on the base 64 screenshot into the extent report that we already know from the previous sessions okay when a particular screenshot is attached to the report okay it will not have the preview enabled guys okay so what I will do here is for the listeners class uh, and log in to work together, we have to run this testng.xml file as I already covered in the previous sessions. Here we have the login class. When I run this testng.xml file, it will indirectly run the login class. And also here, listeners class is also attached. You see, my listeners class is attached. That's the reason when you run this, uh, the methods in the listeners class, okay, based on the events file, like for example, for example if a particular test fails, the appropriate on test failure method in the my listeners class will be invoked because of this listener tax here that you already know. But let me run this by default. What will happen? How the screenshot will be captured and how it will be attached to the extent report is something we'll see. Okay. So I have run this guys. Now the automation scripts in the login class will run. There are three automation scripts guys. One will pass, uh, one will fail, one will pass and another, another one will is dependent in, depending on the failing test. So it will skip, okay? Three tests will run one by one. So let's wait uh, for the execution to be done, okay? So execution has not started yet. Yeah, I know it started, guys. As you can see, three tests will run. One will fail, one will pass, another one will skip, okay? This I have demonstrated already in the previous sessions of this training series, guys. If you have any confusions, I recommend you to go back to the previous videos and come back, okay? So they are running. And finally, a report will be generated automatically and open to us in the browser, guys. That also I covered in the previous sessions, how to automatically open the generated extent report without manually opening it from the project, okay? That also I covered. So once all these three tests are run, now you will see a report will be generated for us. An extent report will be generated and automatically it will open in the browser. You see, I didn't do anything. It has automatically opened in the browser, in the default browser of your computer. In that, as I mentioned, one of the test is failing, one of the test is passing, one of the test is skipping, right? So the test which is failing, you see, has an image screenshot file here, but it is in the base64 format, guys. 
the preview is not there. Okay. When you see here by default, you see a purple background and base 64 image text is there, but preview kind of uh, format is not there. If you have to see this image, you have to click on this base 64 and you can see the image, but the preview of that opened image is not coming here. But what if I have to enable that? What if I have to enable this preview of this image in this uh, extent report by default? Okay. So for that guys, we have to do some modifications to this uh, project a bit. That is simple guys, go to this extent report generator.java. Okay, here we have to add a line where we have to say spark reporter dot load XML config file like this you have to say. Okay, here we have to load the XML config file guys. Okay, here we are going to load the XML config file. But where is that XML config file? Where is this particular XML config file? It's not there in my project. Okay, it's not there in the project guys. Under SRC test resources, I'm going to add that. In the previous session, if you remember, we have configured using Java, we have configured, uh, we have configured and customized extent reports using JSON and XML. In this XML, I am talking about, okay? In this XML, I am talking about guys. Let's go with that XML thing. So how to get that XML thing? Simple guys. Uh, so let's go here. JSON or XML, both are fine guys. For now, I am showing you XML. After that, I can show you the JSON also. That's not a big deal. So here, search for extent reports, okay? Search for extent reports. Go to the official website of extended reports here. Then go to the docs version five, select Java. And after selecting Java guys, you'll get this GitHub link. Click on that GitHub link. You'll be taken to the GitHub page here. GitHub page of extend reports, extend framework is coming. Extend reports, uh, I found Java. We have to go inside. This is one of the repository. And, uh, in that we have to go to the config folder and you will see this XML and JSON together. Uh, for now, I want XML guys. Okay. So I'll copy this XML content before copying this. What I want, want to do here is I want to create that XML file under the SRC test resource, so right click on SRC test resources and say new and say file and just name anything for this file guys. I'll just give a relevant name extend, uh, reports, I want config dot XML, some extension you give click on finish guys. extend report config and empty file got created, but what is that I'm going to copy in this XML file. So here we already went to this, uh, repository, right? Uh, and we opened the spark, uh, iPhone config XML, right here. I'll co copy the contents of this XML and paste it here. Okay. I just copied and pasted guys. Once it is pasted, I'm not going to work with other configurations guys. Now let's focus on this configuration known as where is that thumbnail for base 64. You see, this is a tag you have to find and here in now you see by default, this thumbnail for base 64 preview is disabled because of false. I'll make it true guys. This is the only customization we have to do guys. Now save this. Now save this. And now I need to load this extent reports config dot XML file here. How to load that? So here you can say dot dot double backward slash. Okay. Under SRC under the project dot means under the project guys. you can either give dot or you can give like this also. Anything is fine. System dot get property also you can give. Okay. This is also fine. Or you can mention the dot also. So I always prefer providing system dot get property guys. It's, it makes me feel confident and, uh, kind of code rather than depending on the dot thing. So I'll go with this, uh, get property. It will get the project path guys uh, under the project under SRC double backward slash SRC under test under resources. We under resources, we have extend hyphen, uh, reports, hyphen config dot XML like this. I have to write and put a semicolon. Okay. Now it's giving an error here, guys. Okay. Uh, you have to either ignore this or surround with try catch block for now. I'll surround with try catch block guys. Okay. After writing this, I'll surround with try catch block. So if any exception comes here while loading this XML file, you'll get an exception. That's the only thing. But this is the main line you have to write this. Okay. Now, once you add this line and once you create this file and load this particular XML file, having that, uh, true enabled configuration here, we have enabled it to true, right? Uh, thumbnail for page 64 true. After doing that, you load this, uh, uh, XML file in this, uh, okay. Using the spark reporter object difference, like load XML file and provide the path of that extend reports config dot XML. Now, once this part is done, it's all done guys. Okay. You just need to run this testing dot XML file. Now let's see whether we'll get the preview instead of that base 64 image. Okay. Whether we'll get that uh, preview of the base 64 image in the 
extend reports for the failed test or not. We'll see that now. Okay. Let it run. So we are getting an exception here. Somehow file not found exception is coming. So there is some problem. It's null is coming here. Okay. So SRC test Java null is coming. So there may be some problem with the path guys. Okay. Mm, what is the path? Uh, okay. So I said system dot get property. Sorry, here I forgot user dot dir guys. You see the dir is missing. Okay. If you mention user dot dir, then only the path will come. That is the main problem guys. Otherwise everything was good. Run this again. After correcting the mistake, I'm running it again. Here we have to mention not user, user dot dir. You see here also it's mentioned. This time it's gonna work. Let's wait for the scripts to run. One script will fail. The next script will pass. And one script depending on the failed script will skip from execution. And in the generated report this time, we have to see the preview of the base 64 image. Okay. We have to see the preview of the image captured using the base 64 format. Okay. We are taking the screenshot using base 64 and we are attaching the screenshot to the extent reports. So by default preview won't be there. Now I have enabled that preview in the config XML file. So this time for the failed test screenshot should be taken and also the preview should be enabled for the base 64 image. Okay. So two tests are done. Uh, three tests are done. A report got generated, one got failed, one got uh, passed, one got skipped. But if you see the failed test, you see earlier we have this uh, thumbnail kind of thing coming base 64 without this preview. This preview is now coming because this preview of this image is coming because here I enabled here in the X XML file, I enabled thumbnail for base 64 as true. That is the reason you are getting that guys. Okay. This is what uh, all I wanted to demonstrate in this session guys. Okay. How to enable the preview of base 64 images in the generated extent report. So by default, the images which are generated using the path, right? Okay. That is file type, right? If you're taking the screenshots, you, you can also take the screenshots, not only with the help of base 64 type output type dot file. Also we can do, okay. Instead of output type dot base 64, we can also take the screenshots using output type dot base 64. Okay. But thing is when you take the screenshots using base 64 format, the preview will not come by default uh, when they are attached, then the screenshots are attached to the extent report. But if you still want the preview to be enabled, for the base 64, similar to the way output type dot file is uh, the preview is by default enabled. For that, okay, we have to do the we have to add this XML file, get this XML file, and then to this XML file, in this XML file, we have to enable the thumbnail for base 64. We can do the same thing with JSON file, guys. Okay, JSON also we can do, guys. Okay, it's not just about the XML file here. Okay, so what if I remove this part and here in place of loading the XML file, I'll, I would like to load the JSON file guys. Okay. So for that guys, I'll go to the same thing. That is, uh, I'll go to the extent reports. In JSON also, we have this, go to extent reports, go to docs, version five, Java, GitHub, GitHub of the extent reports will open. You can also Google search directly like GitHub extent reports. It will take you here only. Again, go to extent reports, hyphen Java. Now click on this uh, config. Now click on this spark config json dot json file. Okay. Here are the json contents before uh, I'll copy this guys. I'll copy this json contents from here. They got copied. Now uh, here you see thumbnail for base 64 is false. I have to make it true guys. That's it. Okay. Nothing much. Here I'll create that uh, json file. Right click new file. I'll say extend hyphen reports hyphen config config dot json file. In that json file. I'll paste the content. Okay. That I just now copied. Now here, I just need to make this thumbnail for base 64 as true guys. That's the only thing that I have to do. Similar the way we have done with XML, right? Here also, we have this kind of JSON format instead of XML format. Now we have to load this JSON file. How to load the JSON file here with the help of Spark reporter. You have to say Spark reporter dot load. Then you'll get this JSON file con JSON config option. And here, uh, when I hover the mouse, uh, here we can give the path guys. Okay. So there are two overloaded methods. It seems like, okay. Load when you say, right. Either you can give the file or you can give the, uh, 
uh, string also. Okay, directly you can give the path also, or you can say new file and then give the path also. Okay, I'll just directly give the path here. Okay? System dot get property. Here I have to say user dot dir then plus and say uh, double hyphen extend. So uh, double hyphen uh, under the this is a project path under the project under SRC test resources under SRC. Make sure there are no spelling mistakes. Test resources resources double hyphen extend hyphen reports hyphen config dot json. You can give any name for this, but I am just following this. It looks good for me, so I am following. That's it. Now surround uh, surround this with strike as well so that uh, no other problems will come. Now simply save that. Now we are loading the JSON file with the enabled configuration for that uh, base 64 preview of the image. Okay. Now run the tsng.xml file and see whether this time also with the help of loading the JSON file with by enabling that uh, okay, enabling that preview of the base 64 image, whether in the generated report, you see again the problem is coming. What is the problem? Testing exception is coming, guys. Okay. Uh, what is this problem? Illegal state exception. Then, but a string at line one path. Okay, we'll do one thing. Mm. So, where is the exception coming? Let's see. JSON reader. So, something related to JSON, it seems, guys. Okay, extend reporter, extend spark reporter uh, 89. Okay, JSON config loader. Let's see where exactly the exception is coming. Let's go to the top. Okay, I'm not able to find it out. What is the name of that file? Uh, this one is uh, extend report generator, right? Maybe the issue is with the extend generate reporter only, guys. Okay, at line 20. This is a problem. Okay, this line is not working, guys. Okay, so directly giving the path may, is not working. So I'll do one thing Spark reporter. I'll do one more thing. So I'll say dot load. I'll, I'll go with the file format, guys. Okay, instead of this, I'll go with the file for new file of. Here I have to give the path, guys. I have to give system dot get property. Maybe this will be working. Let's see. Sometimes things may not work. We have to go with other stuff. Use a dot dir. Then here mm, till here is a path. Till here is a file. Okay, remove this part. Some extra thing is there. I'll say plus double slash src double slash test double slash resources resources double slash resources extend hyphen reports hyphen config right config dot json okay so if the normal way is not working I'm going with this way guys let's see what will happen this time so let's run it again right click on as uh, test in the suit Let's see what will happen this time. With XML, it was successful, guys. With JSON also, I want it to be successful. So let's do. Let's see. Yeah, looks like it's working fine with a new file thing. Now in the generated extent report, we should see the preview of the image. Okay. We have enabled the configuration in the JSON file to preview the enabling of the base 64 image, and that should happen. For the failed test, screenshot should be taken. And the screenshots preview should be available in the generated report. Okay, that's what is the main intention. Let's see. Once it is done, it will automatically open the report for us. And let's see what report. And uh, you see, the, for the failed test, the preview is enabled. Okay, with the JSON, we are able to enable the preview and we are able to open the preview also and can see the actual image. So, with this note, guys, uh, we are done. How to enable the previewing of the base 64 images in the generated extent report with the help of both XML and JSON files. Okay, so that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye.